Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're here to check out the Akaya Pearl S Brewing Scale. Now Akaya are known for three great things when it comes to their scales. Incredible precision, accuracy, and super fast response times without questions. And the Pearl S Scale in particular has been designed around perfecting the ultimate smart scale for filter coffee brewing. Although it can be used for dosing and brewing espresso as well. And taking a look at the built-in programs, along with the connectivity to the suite of Akai's Bluetooth enabled apps, there's one in particular, Akai's Brew Guide. This is a Pearl S scale exclusive app, and this explores the concept of an interactive brew guide available on your Pearl S through the optimized LED display. And then this will advise you on when to add your coffee, when to add your water, and even how fast or slow to pour your water. So the Pearl S is a great tool for learning how to brew coffee, but it's also a professional grade smart scale too that offers consistency and reliability for the commercial environment. Coming in a couple of different colors, you can shop the Pearl S from this link up above, but stay with me now as we jump in and investigate the full capacity of the Pearl S in order to better understand how we can brew better coffee. So straight out of the box, the Pearl S is ready to use. It measures 16 centimeters by 16 centimeters, and you're able to use the entire surface to accurately weigh from. The height of the scale is 3.2 centimeters, and it does come with a heat resistant coaster to protect that weigh pad, though the scale is made from strong, tough polycarbonate plastic, which is reliable for those commercial environments. This transmits a reflection that kind of gives it that refined look of being made from glass, and it is water resistant enough not to be concerned about any spills over the top, as that top plate wraps all the way round and down, protecting the insides. So the Akai Pearl S has a large capacity of up to three kilograms. And even with the maximum, it can read down to as little as a tenth of a gram. And to take stock of this particular feature with all of Akai's brewing scales, where most economical scales, there is a drop off in accuracy over certain weight ranges. The Akai Pearl S, this will read to within 0.2 grams of accuracy all the way through to its full capacity of three kilograms. It is important to note that these scales then are incredibly sensitive to weight changes. And you'll see those results from the evaporation of hot water, as well as drafts of air blowing in from an AC unit. And this can be a little bit tricky to get used to initially, but I guess it is the price you pay for the ultimate precision. And the power on the Pearl S is an inbuilt lithium ion rechargeable battery with 2200 milliamp hours. Charged from a micro USB cable that's been supplied, the battery life ranges from 16 to 40 hours of use. So to begin using the scales, you have two zones on the way plate as active buttons in the left and the right hand corner of the scale. There's your on and off button and also a tear button. Now these also have added actions to them. So whether you hold them down or double tap them, you'll access other parts of the scales programs. So the first two programs are standard brewing modes and in all of these modes, grams or ounces are possible. First up, you have that simple way mode to the 10th of the gram. The second mode is a manual start and stop timer, as well as the weight display, most commonly used for all brewing scenarios. The third mode is a pour over auto start mode, similar to mode two, though the scale will automatically detect the flow of water and then begin the timer for you. Unfortunately, although this is a neat feature, it does stop the timer whenever you lift your brew up. So swirling your pour overs or flipping an AeroPress mid brew in this mode is not recommended. Mode four, the porter filter or the dosing mode. This is to simplify that workflow of weighing coffee grounds into a porter filter. The scale automatically detects the porter filter on the scale, then tears the weight once it's removed. Place the porter filter back on the scale to measure the weight of the coffee grounds. Mode five, this is the espresso mode, and this is used to automatically first detect a cup or shot glass on the scales prior to brewing, and then tears the weight of this vessel automatically. Then the scale will detect the flow of espresso into the vessel and immediately start the timer automatically. And then the timer will stop when the flow of espresso stops. This may sound all well and good, but I do think this mode is a little bit dispensable as I'll always recommend that you time your shots from the moment the water touches the coffee, which is when you lift that lever or push the button rather than when the flow comes out. So I do wish this mode was a little bit more like the lunar scale mode where it auto tears and then also auto starts the timer 
at the same time. And on top of this little inconvenience, I guess the overall size of the Pearl S, it makes little sense using it on a regular drip tray. It's not until you get to mode six that the filter brewing mode or flow mode comes in real handy. See, the flow rate of water that you add into your filter brewer happens to be pretty important. And it's gonna indicate things like turbulence throughout the brew, and then that extraction rate through the bed of coffee as the water flows down through it. And we want to avoid a heavy flow of water, dragging small grind particles to the bottom of the brewer, which might make the brew slow down dripping, stall, or even stop flowing. So a slow, steady, and consistent flow happens to be the best option. RLY, a gooseneck kettle, is gear so sought after for manually brewing coffee. Looking at the flow mode, you have your timer on the left, the total weight is in the middle, and then that all important flow rate is on the right, represented as grams or ounces in seconds with your timer and tearing in manual mode. Now, flow rate is something that's a little bit tricky to keep consistent, and it does take practice with a steady hand. So a Kai built into the final mode, a practice mode for the flow rate using your kettle. And you can practice keeping that line nice and steady, or it's moving left and right. And this way you manage the flow, and then hopefully build some muscle memory when it comes time to actually brewing coffee. And finally, with one more program that encapsulates the whole concept behind the Akaya Pearl S is the brew guide mode. Now you access this by holding that tear button down from any mode, and then you cycle through the brew guide's instructions from holding that tear button down to progress. Now there is a generic brew guide that has been preloaded of 18 grams of coffee to 250 mils of water over two pours. But if you have that Akaya Brew Guide app, then you're going to be able to download other brew guides to upload into your scale to replicate or even share your own successful brews with other people around the world. This app is also the best place to gain access to the Akaya Pearl S settings from, where you can turn specific modes on or off, change temperature and weighing units, managing battery saving modes for auto off, and turning the beep sound on or off. And of course, as well, personalizing that on-screen message when you turn your scale on each time. And that's the Akaya Pearl S scale for you. Now, it's not a scale for those indifferent to the pursuit of brewing great coffee, but if you're learning to brew or have a brew bar that requires the highest level of scale performance, then undoubtedly the Pearl S is going to be a strong contender there. And there are further applications to the Pearl S whereby you can connect multiple scales over Wi-Fi, gathering live brewing parameters over the course of a day or even a week, and then use those data sets to integrate more efficient brewing approaches. But really, that is just scratching the surface on what this scale could become, as updating the scale's firmware does continue from Akaya as brewing evolves and changes. So is this the scale for you? That's for you to decide. But if you have any questions on the Pearl S, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on that screen. So that way you can stay notified when we keep bringing out videos just like this every week. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.